we're on number 10. We're continuing with Zelina. And where we last left off, we've defeated Grimm. And we're going into the crash. So we're in the crash. All right. Never wanted the easy path. Surely the kids won't go to herself. So important. Feel free. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us- Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? I do not. Don't tell her anything. Mm. There's a traitor among She speaks the truth, Kithrak. Sharlak, among us, whom would you accuse? Kithrak Voss? Is Kithrak Voss the traitor? Why does this come up? I get the doctor question. Vague allegations and undue demands. A poor introduction for an unproven istic. The very same said to hold the weapon we seek. Shimar's Allah Give it to me! No! Then I will take it from your corpse! Well, I guess we're gonna kill everyone. Didn't expect this to go down, but okay. Um. I can deal with this amount, but the problem is I dropped my Falero Lou. I, I did not expect a battle. 
There wasn't supposed to be one. We are going to reload this because I... Yeah, we're gonna reload this. The battle was not supposed to be happening at all. We were supposed to talk our way through, but I don't know why we didn't do any checks. sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. You are well informed. My crash discovered the same. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, illithid sickness spreads right in front of us. One of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. All right, we're supposed. Keep away from me. There's. I honestly have not done much with the crush before. And most of it was just talking to them and actually just going through and getting the benefits of being in the crash. There's probably this whole plot about the crash that I have not done before. But I know taking on the crash and killing the crash, I need to be a higher level for that. So we are going to start off. Since we can't take on the crush right now, we are gonna actually go to Moonrise, uh, to head towards Moonrise. We'll eventually come back, but it's not beneficial to take on the crash right now. I am nowhere near the level I need to be to face all of them. Because they're like 7 and 8. It's just like, ooh. Grim. So, first off, we are going to do a nice long rest before we, we head off to Moonrise. Which the crash can still be act, you can still interact with the crash and take the crash on during act two Let's if you want. Goes. Where's Carlac? I need a moment for the two of us. Ah, oh, another dead end. If the tadpole doesn't kill us, trying to cure it just might. Yeah. Come on, we're no room in your party. What should I do? Let's hop. Well, obviously, we got to go with that. And we're going to look at some... Because I fully equipped her. Um, any of her things would benefit? Uh... 
you know, her stuff isn't that beneficial. But... Because they're all level 6 right now, right? Yeah, everyone just hit level 6. So... I think we'll go to level 8 with Fighter on. <sighs> hey soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. Oh, feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. We need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. I'm sure we will. But, in case we don't, a bit of advice. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days. Alright. Going to bed. Nothing's gonna really happen. The next big scenes are going to be in the act. Ah. Alright. Let's leave camp. Let's go, guys. Hold on, let me buff y'all. We're heading into Act 2. Yeah, I don't know why that fight started. I was, I'm still irritated by that. Something good here, I hope. Bet I can crack that open. Another step forward. Doctor. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if, perchance, you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? 
May I ask? Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you? Well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown? I should be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster, Elminster is a... Omar. Now, if this answer He's satisfies a Magic you, the Gathering let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, a... but settle on your knowledge of the individual I seek. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? And I would confirm it to be so. Please, after you. So yeah, we're going back My to camp. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah, and yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bortity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten I mean, the dude day has I've gotten out on his chest. fair, worthy of I the don't name. Understand why he would drank no but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. And a great kindness that would be. See, Gail, even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh. For the love of... Fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Elminster. Right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. The long-awaited question. Now, if you please, Elminster, for the too long-awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute. That most insidious of evils. Alas, the creature that afflicts you, the, 
ill-begotten magic that it weaves is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is mistress belief that only you can. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the absolute. Fuck Mistra. Fuck her charge. I will be the absolute I destroyer. I to your conviction, but Gale has an unnatural advantage. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. My outfit's amazing. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will Burn it from this world. Uh, <laughs> that's fucked. Say what you will, but you can't force Gale to go through with this. No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistress Will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress Promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. And I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, calm ebb, come flow, come all. That is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Flower Farewell, words. I'm glad she chose you. See, if I wouldn't get taken down for like the copyright stuff, I'd be singing songs while in battle. But I can't. Even though I'm a bard. First in my heart. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. It's 
not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so, for Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, kind of you to stop by. All right. Uh, later on, through Act Two, we will be using uh, Gale a lot more, uh, and we'll throw in Will there occasionally. We'll stick with the main party mostly, but there will be some more swap outs because swapping outs are pretty decent. We'll also be using Halson because Halson has a. Uh, we're going to talk to him about the Shadow Curse. The Shadow Curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being in the form of a young fey boy with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. What should I look for? I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the shadow curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. Okay. So. With this being said, we will have to cast one specific spell that I got way earlier. I think Shadowheart has light too. the only one without it but we have three people with it so it should be good seem to be harming me. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. 
Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. But what about me? So what does this all mean? Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. Oh, this place is heavy. I wouldn't have thought you would complain about heavy, Carlac. Stay together. Keep to the light. Shatty shadow, I'll give you that. Come out into the light, hands high. Hello, Hazel Lucas. Good. Just playing some Baldur's Gate. Jonas, move in. Dead. Jonas! Jonas! I'm here! Where are you? Jonas! Can you see our torches? It's going I can't well. See Just reached Act Two. Something's wrong. So. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Who's there? Oh, he's definitely dead. Notice? That'd be cool. I mean, if you want, do it. I'm afraid poor Jonas is bait, and this is a trap. Harpus? You heard the woman. Two arms! Awesome. Well, we are going to... Wow. Where are they? They're all the way back there. Hmm. Take out these shadows real quick, then. I'll strike you down. <laughs> I'm here. Um, check your work streaming. I mean, depending on the stream.
give out my Discord ID. Yeah, I can see your messages. I don't just give out my Discord.
we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! Alright guys, we're gonna start looting because loot is the way to go. What's in here? is protected must be the refuge the harpers spoke of you there step forward and keep your hands off your weapons easy she's with me come jahira Just this once, I wish people would simply say hello. Hello. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch. I save your soldiers, and this is the thanks I get. Kindness is too often a decoy. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. I am Stop. not true. What's she doing? She's the one who saved us! She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? Hmm. I work in mysterious ways. Enlighten me. Now. Straight charisma thing, man. I got charisma. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand why you, the enigma that you are, suddenly crossed our path. 
But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope up? when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come Just here? Just streaming. I'm good. To destroy the absolute. I'm here on holiday. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Knocking around here, right? It's Got to trust. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day. Ain't mine, oh, there's a traitor. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Yon Oh, am I proficient in medium? I think I am. Cloak of protection. That's always a good one to have. Cool. Oh, that's an issue. Well, we're going to take away these. Things.
Take care now. Right. So these one. That boosts my AC up a lot. And this can be one. That'll boost my AC. Black and red furnace combine. Make this combine. One of my favorite armors because it doesn't ad impose disadvantage and it gives a plus one to initiative and you get a 15 and you could add your full dex modifier. Currently my dex is a plus four so that means the AC is a 19 and then plus one plus one plus one which equals 22. Really good dex. And if I use Defensive Flourish, it's been higher. I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them, hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things, good news and bad news. Oh. What do you want to hear first? The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Carlick to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first... Fix me. Please. Go on, give him the iron. Well. All right. It shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. <sighs> so did it... work? Only one way to find out. Nice. That's weird. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do.
before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? This is the best day. The best day! I'm so happy for me too. Now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. seen that ox before. It has the same strange look in its eye. It yeah, has the same strange look in its eye. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh... Yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam! We were all like, whoa! How'd you learn to fight like that? Hmm, <laughs> had to. Life didn't put any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back, too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Yeah, her past on the streets, like, she got used to that type of stuff. It is, isn't it? I hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Premium trick. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Let's see. See, these are nice. They add an additional armor class and everything. A lot of this I can't get yet. I could. I can get those boots. Pleasure doing business with you. Last light's best bargain, right here. Just to increase his AC a bit. Listen, don't wander far. We need to talk. 
Alrighty, alrighty. Another demon. Playtime's over, pet. Corporeal, though. Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. What gives me Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. How did they mean? Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. <clears throat> Clause Z, section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lean mule. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. I know what a lean now, more is. Be a good boy and but I always like the idea up, of or you'll spend a an lemur. eternity sizzling Much in better. the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Well, I see oh, you, asset. And what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? you hold the winning hand. Fine, I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. A star in gets along quite well, I think. What are you talking about? I F. Or is it an E? This is even a letter. Damn language is this. What are you doing? I... Well, if you must know, I've been trying to make out the scars on my back. I can't see them. So I've been trying to feel my way about. They may as well be written in Rashimi. I... This isn't your problem, you know. I know. Now shut up Fine. and turn around. The runes are carved in deep, brutal strokes. But the jagged letters mean nothing to you. Whatever language this is, you don't recognize it. And? What does it say? What in the hells? What 
did he do to me? I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poem. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. I'm sure. But what will it say? Th thank you, by the way. This is... Well... It's something. Okay, can you put your shirt on now? Given the subject matter, I probably won't. <laughs> Given the subject matter, I probably won't. Poor Karlak. She can finally seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. Yeah. Fine. What's on your mind? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together. And it seems we have plenty in common. Considering all we've been through, I think I was very lucky to find such favorable company. And attractive company too, no less. Nothing else I really want to talk about right now. I knew Will would have something to say. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Oh, anger issues much more. Mazora well. set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Not just rot. I'd have to fight. One of those mindless blobs clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. Damn. There are some... Some of these options are so cold-hearted. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you. For sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming. Plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. You wish to speak? Cool. Oh yeah, Carlac wanted to speak with me. I forgot about that. Oops, wrong way. What you doing, Scratch? Dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Oh, you got a bag? What you got there, Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Give him a little pitsy. Damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? 
We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. Or if it's a runaway like me. Or something far worse. I want to believe that as much as you do. Almost as much as Will does. But I just know there will be more to the story. There always is. It's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You'd never win. Not ever. Alrighty. Dream visitor time. The voice of the absolute is strong here and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. Are you alright? Yes. Yes, I am. Beneath the resilient veneer, a touch of fragility. She needs comfort. You look terrible. Do you need a tug? It's been a very long time since someone did that. For me. Who was it? You just looked like you needed it. Of course. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath wave. between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. This is really making me want to do a Dark Urge campaign. That's going to be so good. Alright. Act 2. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. I was worried they got you too. It's one hell of a curse. It wasn't the curse that did us in. We were ambushed out in the darkness by cultists. We surrendered. But that wasn't enough for them. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids, telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him told him to kneel. They took his eyes first. 
than his tongue. Which one was Asherok again? Roland of all people saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Roland the Apprentice yes. Wizard? He shielded me and the kids while his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? I'll let you know when I figure it out. Heart's Requiem, right? The hero survives a war and rebuilds her life stronger than ever. A tale worth remembering. Especially now. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful out there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Is anyone Have keeping an eye on the finest children from Maybe not, Mom. Glad you and Karlak are all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. show that to you. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Need anything? Let's see what you have. Two thousand.
Karlak wearing. Well, I, I really need these instead of the other things, so... It's fine, I can always... I'll be here if you need anything else. I can always buy it from them later. That's his packed weapon, this isn't, so it's still fine. It's good as a support weapon. It also allows her to cast haste. So those are very important stuff. You're welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God! To your very good health. She is anxious for you to drink the wine first. And it's an anxiety you recognize. Not every knave prefers a blade in the ribs or arrow in the back. Some prefer poison. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. No, but it does leave the subject paralyzed. Whatever comes after, I would have you standing on your own two feet. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? And you're certain you will continue to resist? Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Gadrek Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. 
Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. What did you have in mind? Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Ketherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. You're the only one who can get inside the towers. You were born for this mission. Or made for it, rather. Besides, you need this. You need to heal yourself of your infection. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then. We keep drinking wine when we meet. Mm. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Ugh. All right. Oh wait, we forgot to do. Majesty. Premium. Hiss! I say hiss! This is my territory, and you're in it. you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I, disgraceful. I slinked, of course. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. Ah, you. That was a nice cat. Out of one, really. It took a bit of nimble footwork to make it through the darkness uncursed. Luckily, I found this place. As have you.
Oh, welcome to the club. There are deep gnomes being held in Moonrise Towers. One of them is my friend, Walbrun. If he's there, I plan to find him. You wouldn't even know what he looks like. Then again, my track record is, well, discouraging. That's very decent of you. Very decent of you indeed. But I won't stand idle. I've spotted an alchemist's scales and had already been cooking up a little something that might help against those cultists. I'll get to work on the brilliant retort. You get to work at the towers. Deal? Very good. Very good. Very good indeed. Now, you, off to your uh, th heroism, uh, as it were. Some of us are counting on you. go do this I am going to take a little break so I can go grab something to eat and let the dogs out so I will be right back
All right. We are going back and resuming. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. The Banisher of Shadow. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good news. Like a nasty little terrier. Anything else? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Isabel? Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. spells for this. Booyah! A haunting face swims into your mind's eye, its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. Why are you disproving The Absolute? Story? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. Thank <laughs> you. 
I intend to find one. What I won't do is send any more of our What's next? The same thing we do. Let's it's move. Crazy. I didn't realize I had an audience. 
The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. My sup. But there are the good nose. Like a nut curse while you're busy. Marcus! I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with true soul. My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. A haunting. What's going on? If you have something perfect, you can't. Time to. Come along, Isabel. lies before me. Okay. <laughs> 
Diana. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. With hate. Are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some <laughs> kind of twisted <laughs> personal morality. <laughs> I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. I'm getting tired of hearing that. I never get tired of hearing that. I never get there. Good. Because your work here is only beginning. No mercy. For Catherick will have none on you. End this. Somebody is singing and I hear it. What's inside? She wants the same thing we To save the city. Old she floppy hair, Ranger. Die. I wouldn't go that far. But her focus. That just looks like I'm gonna take it. would do the same for any of us. You knew it! But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. Listen You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... You know me already. But you'll have the honor of making up for my blunder here. I trust that you will. 
Then speak. The same way hoppers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't belong. We sent an agent to infiltrate this cult. <laughs> the latest fad among the city's bored nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, I made some inquiries of my own. So firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. And so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. Moonrise Towers. Just about. Just about. We shouldn't hang around too long, though. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Seen alleyways in Baldur's Gate that are plenty worse in their way. Yeah? Heapside narrows at night time. Two steps in, and you're likely to become some dagger's new sheath. I ain't my neck of the woods. <laughs> Count your lucky star. God, blood, this is heavy. It's for a good cause. You mean to reach Moonrise? And I have orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep, even a torch cannot quell it. Yet, the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Keep steady. We're closing in. Steady. Looks like there was a struggle here. your signal wait no you know that little cave with the spider manual where the spider queens were stand ready, i think majesty. he's the one that transformed soon, soon the world will bow to you Pretty. yeah where boss something moved up there want me to drag it out Text in the dark. Tell them. Destroy the blasphemies. Drive them into the dark. Let them take our lights.
no choice but to keep going. Have to keep going.
Why are they saying arrest me? chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh, please! Oh, golly! Oh, my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. It seems like a fitting punishment for a poet. The mechanism at the lantern's base would usually govern brightness, but seems designed here to crush the pixie painfully. However, the lock trapping this creature seems simple, crude even. The fuel inside must be changed relatively often. with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. Curious little thing. We do get to see some interesting things. Almost makes the mortal peril worth it. Almost. That was an ugly orb. Don't press ahead. hiding here.
Is that right? I thought he had better sense than this. What's the city doing? Close. I can feel it. The absolute. Its power is strong here. Something over there. your own probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? General Ketherick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarell's in charge till he gets back. 
You'll find Zrell in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. That's what I call an invitation. Let's find Zarel and get this caravan moving. Praise the Absolute. Let's see. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. The Disciple will want to see you through the main door. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash. Oi. Whoa. Oh. You scrag. Enough. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Tadpoles, worms, <sighs> urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorne gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? The Goblins. They failed me. They failed us all. You lying little! And what would you do to those that have failed you? They are put to death, obviously. True. Ultimate failure must earn ultimate punishment. Night Warden Minthara, your crime is incompetence, and your sentence is death. No! <gasps> Make her passing slow, Disciple Zorel. Be creative. A new true soul come to share their wisdom? And what do you have to contribute? A pity then that her faith was so inadequate. Take her below. Bye-bye, princess. Kill the goblins, too. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! This is just... Sorry, my lord, she's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They're yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Oh! Ah! 
done nice and neat. Now, let's report to the... The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. All right. One day catch a break. That beautiful cinematic intro for done. Damn straight. Without me, everything will be for naught. The Iron Hand knows must be something. here enjoyed watching as always it would all it will be uploaded on YouTube seven days and yeah. yeah so hope you liked it see you next time